And speaking of impressive feats of engineering, NASA and Intuitive Machines is standing by for a lunar landing in the next hour or so. Odysseus, a private lunar lander, reached the moon on Wednesday and will attempt to land. All right, here's a live feed of the landing preparations on NASA TV. ABC's Jacqueline Lee has the details. It was a week-long journey to the moon. Intuitive Machines IM-1 Odysseus, affectionately known as Odie, launched to the moon last Thursday. The commercially-backed U.S. lunar lander is partnering with NASA, the space agency confirming it is paying $118 million to get its experiments on the moon during this mission, part of a program to kickstart the lunar economy. We need to know as much as we can about that environment to sustain life and so that we can get not only a uh, human presence on the lunar surface, but that we can get the science and the knowledge and the data back that we need to, to change our world, quite frankly. The maneuver to land Odie is a tough one. Controllers lowering the orbit from just under 60 miles to 6 miles, which occurs on the moon's far side before touching down near the moon's south pole. Intuitive Machines partnered with San Jacinto Community College, allowing students to help build the lunar lander. I had everyone's name etched on the bottom feet of the landing gear so that their names will be indelibly imprinted on the surface of the moon when we touch down softly. Going into the mission, experts knew a smooth touchdown would make this the first time the U.S. returned to the moon since NASA closed its Apollo program in 1972. There's a lot of uh, pride and patriotism to put something back from the U.S. onto the moon. Um, the U.S. definitely wants to be back on the moon and start making its headway. And then, of course, it helps many other industries. This marks the third attempt to land on the moon this year. NASA's Peregrine mission failed because of a fuel leak, forcing it to return back to Earth and burn up on reentry. Japan's slim mission stuck the landing but was upside down, making it impossible to deploy its solar arrays. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Los Angeles. All right, and according to the last update from the Intuitive Machines, mm -hmm. the lander is expected to touch down on the moon at 624 p.m. Wow. Eastern Time. Okay. Yes. That's amazing. It is amazing. It's going to be yeah. cool to see. We'll all be living on the moon pretty soon. Yeah, course. watching so, history unfold. I, I might stay here. Let me know how it is. <laughs> we'll see right here on postcard. Earth. Yeah.